Hi, I'm Jeremy, and this is Verse by Verse, a short podcast all about exploring the insights and lessons of the inspired Word of God. Today we're looking at Romans 13, verses 8 through 10, where Paul says, Owe no one anything except to love one another, for he who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not covet, and if there is any other commandment, are all summed up in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. What a beautiful thought. Love fulfills God's law. To fulfill something is to meet its requirements. So Paul wasn't saying that love replaces God's law or that love removes the need for God's law. He was saying that God's law shows us how to love. The commandments that Paul referenced are rules for how to treat others. Think of them as fences. Individually, they each show us a line that we're not supposed to cross. But taken together, they form a complete boundary. Love, true godly love for others, will only ever operate within that boundary. Now, love is never going to prompt us to covet what others have. Love will never let anger fester to the point that we're willing to take someone else's life. Love will not permit us to willfully spread deceit and misinformation. Love will not trample the special blessing of the marriage covenant through lust and adultery. Love will not let us take the things that don't belong to us. Love does no harm to a neighbor. God's law shows us what love looks like in action. It shows us the fences, the boundary lines that love cannot and will not cross. And when we do cross those lines, then there is something other than love at work in our lives. Now, Part of the problem comes when we drag our own definition of love into the picture, right? And let's be honest, there are a lot of different definitions of love out there. And they're not all true. They can't be. So many of them are in conflict with each other. But Paul makes it simple. To truly understand love, we have to understand God's laws, his commandments. That's how we can understand the boundary where love exists and where it doesn't. Love is on this side of the fence and not the other. Now, there's more to love, of course. God's law helps us understand what we need to do with our hands and our feet. But no law has the power to change our hearts, what happens inside of us. That's a change that goes deeper than following a list of do's and don'ts, and, and that's a change that sits at the core of Christianity. Paul also described love in his letter to the Corinthians. In the English Standard Version, 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 says, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. This is the kind of love God wants us to have for each other and for him. It's the kind of love he has for us. And he doesn't leave us guessing about the right way to show that love. Through his law, he gives us the fences. Love is here, not there. Love does this, not that. It's easy to look at God's laws as a big list of do's and don'ts, arbitrary restrictions that limit us and confine us. But that's so far from the truth. The law shows us the boundaries of love. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. The better we understand that law, the better we understand how to show love to our neighbors and even to God himself. Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog, which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. Check out the show notes for more.